Let's talk about the number of lone pairs for H2O, water. Lone pairs are sometimes called unbonded pairs of electrons. So we have this Lewis structure here. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for water, there's a link in the description. But when we look at water here, we have these electrons here and these electrons here. They're not bonded to anything. That means they're lone pairs. So we have these two lone pairs for water. If we look at these right here, they're between the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms. That means they're involved in chemical bond. So these are bonding pairs of electrons. But we wanted to know how many lone pairs we have. We have one, two lone pairs for water. Sometimes you'll see water written like this, and the lone pairs would be right here. This is an attempt to show the molecular geometry. Let's take a look at how they got this, though. So the purple, that'll be the oxygen. We add two hydrogen atoms, and they spread out. Right now, they're in a straight line. It's a linear molecular geometry. We need to add our lone pairs there. So we add one, and it pushes those hydrogens down. Let's add another one. There's our second lone pair. And we end up with this as our molecular geometry for water. This is called a bent molecular geometry. If we hide the lone pairs, they're still there, but we hide them, you see that it's bent. And the bond angle should be about 109.5. But lone pairs, they push down more than would atoms. So they're going to push down, push these a little closer together, probably about 105. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, H2O water has two lone pairs. We have one right here and right here. These aren't bonded to atoms, so we call them lone pairs or unbonded pairs of electrons. They're important because they occupy space and they influence the molecular geometry of water. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.